Hello and welcome back to channel T Lover. So if you are new to this channel, please make a subscription on our channel and also do not forget to click on bell icon for our latest update. As before today, also I am here with a new video for you, and we have got a new virus, and we are going to decrypt and recover the data from from the infected PC or laptop. If you need any help from me, then you can directly make a contact me through T Lover two zero five four in the Instagram, and also you can contact me through the website that I have kept in the website of my blog. Okay, so I'll provide this link in the description below. First of all, when your pc or laptop get infected by a virus then you will find an interface like this so your all the file will be decrypted like this type so you can remove this virus or you can extract the data from this pc also here i have written the article for that one so you can check in my blog so this is the article i have clearly mentioned about the drive where you can recover the data from we can recover the data from local disk e f g h and i so accept local disk c so you can recover the data from c type because all the system will be covered by the virus so if you want to recover the data from c type then you have to boot your computer in a safe mode for booting your computer in a safe mode you have to go to the start and you have to type run now you have to type m s c o n f i g so uh, when you type this you have to press enter over here and our interface will open so here you can go for the boot option and you, in this boot option you can check on the save boot and you go for the apply so after 30 second your computer will be booted and reboot automatically you will be in the safe boot for recovering your data so i'm not going for this process now i'll go for the recover because i do not have any data in the c drive so i'll recover the data from d drive so for that you have to go to your pc first of all you have to format your pc so you have to clean your c drive it means that you have to install a new os on your pc so for that you have to go for the source box and you have to type reset so you can find a reset this pc click on this reset this pc and here you have to go for the get started after clicking on the get started you have to choose two file over here so you have to click on the remove everything it means that you will remove all the application and system files that are in the c drive also your personal file too so you cannot recover anything from c drive and your computer will be after doing this also if your computer is not reset then you have to install new os in your pc so for that you can use window media creation tool to install the new os in your pc or you can install a new windows on your pc after that you have to go to my blog in the same post you will find a download option over here in the last of the post so just click on the download so you will find a standard data recovery tool over here so you have to just download this software so as you see that our software is downloading over here so you have to extract this file over here so click on the extract file so if you are unable to extract this file then you have to install the windier on your pc okay so when you reset your pc you will not get windier so first of all you have to install the windier windier on your pc so after that you have to go for the okay now you need a password to extract this file so use as a t lover also i have kept this password in the blog also so you can check in my blog also for this password so after clicking on the password you have to go for the okay so your file has been extracted over here so now you have to move for the folder now you have to install this software so you can simply install this software by clicking you can select your language so just i recommend you to use english accept the term and license and click on the next option again so you have to go for the next 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 and you will you have to now click on the install so we have successfully installed the software but before closing this or finishing this software you have to uncheck this launch stellar data recovery from this box and you have to go for the finish so now we have to crack the software so for cracking your software you have to click on the crack and here is a two system file one is 64 bit and next one is 32 bit so if your computer is 32 bit use into 86 and if you have 64 bit on your pc then use 64 bit so i have 64 bit i'll click on the 64 now you have to go for the dr folder 
so you have to copy this file so just go one step back on the respective folder and you have to paste this file over here so all together we have four file over here you have to collect these four file so just copy this four file now minimize this file and you have to go for the stellar data recovery on our desktop right click on the software go for the open file location so simply paste the four file that we have here you have to replace this destination file it will ask for the administration permission you have to click on the ok it takes some time but you have successfully added this file before restarting the stellar data recovery software you have to create a shortcut for this stellar data recovery create a shortcut and it will ask you to create a shortcut in the desktop so just click on the s minimize this and you will find a two software in the desktop so you have to keep the shortcut one and you have to delete the original one now you have to run this software so running this software you have to just double tap on the software here if you have successfully cracked the software then you will find on the top of this stellar data recovery there is no option for the demo so if you haven't cracked the software then you will see a demo in the top of the stellar data recovery professional okay so please watch the full video so that you will not miss any part and you will not able to crack this software okay now this is the place where you can get the data from now before going for any data you have to click on the respective data individually it means that if you want the old excel or ppt file then you have to just tick on the office document only at once if you go for the all data then you might recover a large number of data and it takes a lot of time for the recovery so i don't know suggest you to tick on this all data at once so if you want the photos first then just click on these photos only and go for the next option so if you want audio then just click on the audio and go for the next respectively for the videos and other folders also an office document over here now i just need the photos to be recovered so i'll just click on the photos only and i'll go for the next option so just click on the next now here you have to select a drive from which you have to recover your data so if you have used any protection on your drive then you have to remove the protection from your drive select the respective drive so here i want to recover the data from this f drive okay so just click on the f drive and before going for the scan over here you have to just go for the deep scan right on the left corner of your screen now you can go for the scan so it takes some time so it takes times to scan your piece it might take one hour two hours 10 minutes 15 minutes or half an hour that depends upon your space of your hard disk or ssd so here it is showing that it takes 56 minutes and 6 seconds to scan this all file from this for only photos only okay so let's wait for this uh, time and after that i'll again back with you complete the scan over here so we can found that 475 file are found in 30 folder with 1.26 gb of data can be recovered so we'll recover this file so the more file you have the more you will recover over here so just close this file and you have to uncheck this file name and you have to uncheck on this respective drive so after that after that the main thing you have to do is the main thing that you have to do here is you have to just go for the raw data and you can find the image in jpg and png only so if you select another so if you select other extension then you are just wasting your time you will find the data in raw data folder only and next is png and jpg so if you want the old file then you will find a folder of old and if you need an excel file then you will find a folder with the excel so respectively for the photoshop you will find pst or any extension format that you needed over here so this is how you can get this data so here we have some image so here we have some image over here so we will recover this image so for recovering your data you have to choose recover and you have to click on the browse so here remember this you cannot recover the data from the same drive it means that if you want to recover the data from d and you will just select the d drive to save your data then it will not be acceptable so if you are so if you are recovering the data from d then you have to click on the c drive to save this data so i'll just go for the this pc and here in the desktop and i'll create a new folder with name recover so after that i'll select this folder i'll go for the start saving so it will not take a lot of time that depend upon your data that can be recovered over here okay so here successfully our data has been recovered now we'll look for the image that has been recovered 
over here. So just go for the recover folder and go for the root and go for the raw data again and JPG and PNG. So first of all, we will go for the JPG and finally we have recovered the data from this. So as you see that this image also contain the quality. So when you click on these photos, then you can find the quality of this image also. So no quality has been decreased during the data recovery process. So in this way, you can recover the data. Respectively, you have to go for the home and here you have to select the respective drive and you have to select the respective audio or respective video or excel or ppt file over here so you have to click on this thing and you have to go for the next and select the respective drive and go for the scan and it will take some time and you can recover the file so if you need any help for this then you can directly make a contact with me in till about 2054 in instagram having any confusion or any question that you may ask for me also i have kept the other medium in the website in the facebook twitter instagram or whatsapp also okay so if you like this video then please hit on the like option and do not forget to subscribe our channel and also click on the bell icon for our latest update thanks for watching this video till our official channel like share and subscribe will value our support thank you